Hello everyone, my name is William. I am the director here at WRD Energy and I just wanted to put together this quick video in regards to the feed-in tariff. Some people are aware of how this works, others are not, but I would say it's worth watching this video just to you know, get a full understanding to make sure that everything is the case. Now please keep in mind before we begin that everything that I'm going to be talking about is going to be in regards to solar PV, solar panels, and the information is uh, viable as of uh, today in terms of uh, August 2012. The information does change. We've already had feed-in tariff changes, I think, three times so far. So at the time that you're watching this video, the rates that I'm talking about now may or may not apply. So just keep that in mind if you're watching this um, a long time after August of 2012. So anyway, let's jump into things and we will see how we get along. Now, the main idea of the feed-in tariff, the main reason it was brought in in the first place um, was to encourage homeowners to put solar panels on their house. Now, the best way of doing that is via making money you know it's, it's always nice to have something on your home but it, solar panels are relatively expensive and without the feed-in tariff it's not that worthwhile uh, very few people had them before 2010 when the feed-in tariff was first introduced so with the feed-in tariff you make money through three different ways as you can see on here you've got a generation tariff you've got a export tariff and you've also got a uh, money that you we call it making money but you're effectively saving money in your energy bills because the energy you produce from your solar panels is going to be used before any energy that you would be typically buying from the grid. So whoever your electricity provider is, um, you'll be using your own electricity before you use theirs. So therefore, your bills will be reduced simply because you're using their own electricity first. So we'll talk about each one of these in a little bit more detail in just a moment. Um, but they're the three main ways that you're going to be uh, making money from the feed-in tariff. So these are the current rates, and like I said, these are from August 2012. Um, so for most people, they're going to fall into the first section, which is a four kilowatt system, um, four kilowatt or less, I should say, uh, which currently stands at 16 pence um, per kilowatt of electricity that you produce. You can see there if you go over four kilowatts, which, like I said, unless you've got a really big house, a nice big roof, uh, chances are you're, you're not going to be going anywhere near that. But that's, uh, you know, 14.5 pence. And then the 10 to 50 kilowatt systems, we're, we're talking more sort of commercial side of things there. Um, and we go down to 13.5 pence. So anyway, 16 pence is what most of us are going to be working with. That's what most people are going to be interested in. So I have done an example of earnings here to explain exactly how each individual section works. So as we mentioned, mentioned earlier, there's three main ways that we make money or save money. So we make money through the generation tariff, we make money through the export tariff, and we also save money through energy bill savings. So this is just a quick example here. Uh, this is a, a uh, legitimate example. It's not something, you know, it's not just random numbers we've plucked out of thin air. Um, this is based on actual systems that we've installed. We've had systems running for over a year now, um, and the 3,500 kilowatts of energy, to be honest, you would actually produce more than that, but th th this is sort of official numbers. So based on a four kilowatt system here, generating 3,500 500 kilowatts of energy over the year. Um, as we mentioned a minute ago, you get 16 pence. So we do 3,500 times by 16 equals 560 pounds a year. Um, you get paid that for 20 years currently. So that would be 11,200 pounds over the 20 years. Uh, export tariff there, you can see. Uh, you can see that you can always pause the video if you want to see them. But you've got 78 pound, uh, 75 pence over uh, per year or £1,575 over the 20 years. Um, also as well, we assume that you're giving 50% back to the grid. So once again, we also assume you're only using 50%. Um, and then you would save £245 a year on your electricity bill. Currently, keeping in mind, obviously, electricity bills are going to continue to go up. At least we assume they will be. So the, the £4,900 over the 20 years here, in reality, it's probably going to be higher than that. But, you know, that's a worst case scenario. That's if energy bills stay the same for the next 20 years, um, which I'm sure you'll agree would not be the case. However, having said that, like I said, we're assuming you're using 50%. Most cases, people are going to be using more than 50%, but we assume you're only going to be using 50 So, you know, that's a good thing with solar PV, at least the, the figures, um, because, you know, we always like to say to customers that we would like to, um, you know, under, under promise and over deliver as opposed to the other way around. So uh, everything here should work out perfectly fine. Now, over the year, so in this example here, we've got a yearly total of £883.75 or an overall total of £17.67.50. So that's the money that you would have earned or saved during that time. Um, and now a cost of this 4 kilowatt system is currently around £7,000. Um, we have done some systems recently which are slightly more than that. We've done others that have been slightly less than that. Uh, it really does depend on your individual circumstances. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but, you know, do we need scaffolding? What's your current electrical situation like? What's the current condition of the roof you know th there's many things that we have to take into account um, when doing this but that also gives us a yearly return of 12.62 percent in this example 
Now, I'm sure you agree, obviously, 12.62 is very high. Um, and there's a few other things worth keeping in mind as well. Um, and these probably the most, uh, at least in my opinion, the most interesting things or sort of, you know, the, the most thought provoking parts is that the money you do earn is tax free. Um, it's also index linked. OK, so the uh, amount you're getting paid so as i say it's currently 16 pence next year that will go up the year after that it will go up assuming inflation will continue on um so it's, it's you know it's uh, index linked from that side of things as well so you know your investment's always going to be a good one um and it's also government backed so they're the main things like i said just a quick video um for more detail please do um visit our website at wrdenergy.com and uh give us a call and we'll be more than happy to talk you through individual things we do offer free surveys so like i say in each individual circumstance it will be different but uh for the meantime that should give you guys a pretty good idea so hope that's cleared things up and any questions please let us know thank you